Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to be doing tens with numbers from 50 to 100. So let's have a look at the first question we're going to work through. Suppose we have this number 65. So we've got the number 65. The 5 is the units and the 6 is the tens. Now on this side we're going to do 10 more than. So what is 10 more than 65? How do we work this out? Well firstly let's write the number down on this side 65. Now are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well, we're doing more than, so therefore, we are counting forwards. Now, the next stage is, let's have a look at how much we're counting forward by. If we look at this number 65, the 5 is the units. In the number 10, the 0 is the units. And because we're going forward by 0, the number 5 remains 5. So let's write that down. Now we're going to do the 10s. We have the 6, and the 6 is a 10, as is the 1. The 1 is also a 10, so the number 6 is going forward by 1. So 6 going forward by 1 is 7. And that is our answer. 10 more than 65 is 75. Now, how about this side on the left? We're going to do 10 less than. So 10 less than 65. First, let's write the number down, 65. Now, are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well, it's less than, so therefore we are going backwards. And in this number, in the units we have 5, and in the number 10, the 0 is a unit. So therefore, 5 is not going to go back by anything. It's going to go back by 0. So 5 remains 5. Now the 10s, we have a 6, and on this side we have, in the 10, we have a 1. Both of them are 10s. So the 6 is going to go back by 1. So 6 counting back by 1 is 5. And that is our answer. 10 less than 65 is 55. That was quite easy, wasn't it? But just to reinforce it, we're going to go through a second example. Now, let's suppose we have this number, 89. We've got 89. We've got units and tens. Now let's work through this again. On the right hand side we've got 10 more than. So what is 10 more than 89? Well first let's write the number down 89. We're doing more than therefore we are counting forwards. Now you know this by now the number 9 is going forward by 0. They're both units so the 9 remains as it is. How about the 10s? Well, we've got 8 and we've got 1. So 8 is going forward by 1. 8 going forward by 1 is 9. That is our answer. 10 more than 89 is 99. Now on this side we're going to do 10 less than. So what is 10 less than 89? Well, firstly, let's write the number down, 89. Are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well, we're doing less than, therefore the number is going to go backwards. Now, let's look at this one here. The 9 is a unit, is going to go back by 0. So the 9 remains a 9. As for the 10s, well, it's an 8, and it's going to go back by 1. Both the 8 and the 1 are 10s. So 8 going back by 1 is 7. That is our answer. 
79. 10 less than 89 is 79. So that was nice and easy. And that is how we do more than and less than of tens with numbers from 50 to 100.